Okay, so let's talk about my gun setup. It's the FX Impact Compact. It's got a 500 millimeter barrel on it. It's got the standard uh, STX pellet liner still in there. I've got an Element Helix on top. Um, I'm using a side shot GoPro system to record my footage with. In the front, I've got a Donny FL Tatsu silencer. This is a 22 caliber gun. It's shooting the JSB knockouts, 25.3 grains at 950 feet average. Um, that gives you around about 50 foot pounds in this small little setup, which is something that I've been looking for for a very long time. I wanted this very small compact gun that I can just chuck into anywhere with a lot of power behind it. And this is what the setup is giving me. So let's see. a dove I just shot right from the back you can see there's a nice big open wound channel there and then if you flip it over I don't see any exit wounds in the front that means the slug is maybe still inside that tells me that the expansion is quite good very impressive this is one healthy looking dove it is very very big and I'm definitely going to take this one back because this one is going to eat up nice. You can feel the wind right from the back. Let's see. Was close very close that could have been the wind but it could have been me um, it is not easy keeping this small compact version of this gun still I did find that if you shoot from a, a shooting bag it's much more stable and the gun likes it it's just more how can I say it just feels more harmonic on that bag so uh, I'll definitely gonna try that out today as well but yeah she is doing so good so well so far Beautiful, looks like a diker. And he's having a nice little early morning meal there. Slight wind from the back, I'm just gonna keep dead on. Ooh. Just nicked him. I think it's just over the top. Eighty one yards. Down she goes. I kept it half a mil low because on the previous shot I saw that the gun is shooting a little bit under my target and uh, that, that worked out fine. Just maybe have to check my zero again. I think that could be out and then we continue. But that perfect shot straight down. The wind had no effect on the knockout slug. Just fly straight and true. Straight down, 104 yards, beautiful shot. Okay, I'm gonna shoot a group on a gong quickly at 100 yards and see what we can do. Then I want to see actually why the gun is shooting high. Um, 
and figure that out because I think the BC that JSB has given me on the tin, I think it's 083, 0.083. I think that BC could be a little bit off, but we'll see because I'm shooting high and I don't understand why. So let's shoot a quick group in 100 yards and see what's going on. There we go, looking good. I can definitely see it shooting about a half a mil high. So uh, yeah, I need to figure out what's going on. Find out where the problem is. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, so here's the results. Uh, this was my aiming point. There's two dots in the middle. My first group was two here, three together there. And then the follow up group at the bottom, two, three. And I will say that that's about, about an inch, I will say. An inch and a half maybe. And a hundred yards. And that is with a standard STX pellet liner it's not a slug liner it's a normal pellet liner I've got in that gun and uh, awesome result 103 yards Perfect. Straight down looks like a neck or a headshot. Beautiful shot. Very happy. I could have left this beautiful goose but there's too much meat on this to leave it over there and uh, even if I left it there there's a lot of water, water turtles in the water and uh, they would have had a big meal but this one is coming for me so let's take it back to the truck perfect straight down 89 yards kept a half a mil under connection Smoked him straight down, 81 yards. Got him. Here we go, so I fetched the goose and like I thought it is a neck shot, you can see there's the little blood trail that JSB Knockout did an awesome job of putting this nice goose down and uh, very very healthy, it's a nice looking animal and I'm going to take this one back to the truck and guess what I'm going to have for dinner tonight, I promise you I'm going to show you still a recipe on how to cook these, they're very very tasty so watch out for that, it's going to come soon.
Well, I'm back at the truck and the wind is starting to pick up outside and I don't think I'm gonna take any further chances in this wind. Um, I got the gap that I wanted. I managed to test the gun with the knockout slugs and might I, may I say, it's performed very well. I'm actually surprised with the performance, the slugs and the gun. Um, that small little error that I've got there with my turret tape, I will sort that out and then I'll give you guys a little update after the outro. So if you want to know what the problem was, stay tuned after the outro and then you guys will have the update. So yeah, thanks for joining me on this spontaneous outing and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Well, I've shot them over the Doppler radar quickly and I want to actually see if I can maybe recalculate the ballistic coefficient. Um, the gun is very consistent, it's working fine, average speed is about 950 and uh, I just want to check the BC calculation quickly because I think that is where it went wrong. But uh, let me just calculate that quickly for you guys and then I'll, I'll let you know just now. <laughs> 